I wasn't this way for my whole life. For the last five years, I have just been sweating excessively. It's under my hair. You can see the side here. On my clothes, just pours down my face. I just cannot tell you how overwhelmingly embarrassing. I feel horrible about myself. I just um, finished drying my hair to go out. This is already what I look like after two minutes. Look at me, and you can see it's already happening now. It seems like it's more when I'm out and about. I started officiating weddings years ago. Last year, my cousin's daughter got married. I'm just gonna take a minute, I'm so sorry. And at the reception, my entire head was completely drenched. I was so embarrassed. And I, I just tried to keep to myself. I'm a hugger, you know, I, you know, and so you don't want someone hugging you that's dripping sweat all over you. It's hard to try to move forward with your life. I went to a doctor and he put me on a medication that didn't help. And I've gone as far as to put deodorant on my face. I do want to just hide, not be seen. My daughter, I have not met her boyfriend. And so, would I be embarrassed for her? Absolutely. We sent Nancy to see dermatologist Dr. Sonia Batra to help her find, hopefully, a solution to her problem. I've seen people with excess sweating, but Nancy's case was definitely in the more severe category. This is what I live like. Was there anything from a medical standpoint that might have changed around then as well? I do have thyroid, hypothyroid, mm -hmm. so I do have pain medication. Well, there could be a lot of underlying factors that contribute to this. As a woman, I can definitely sympathize. Obviously, it is as upsetting. I want people to see me like this. It's what impacts your self-esteem, exactly. the way people perceive you. No, I understand. And, and I feel like I've lost part of me. <laughs> So I can definitely see the moisture on the scalp here. You can see the beads of it all the way across the skin in between the hair follicles. It's important that you don't have redness, you, you don't have other signs of inflammation of the skin. So you haven't had any real issues with moisture here on your palms or your soles, correct? No. And how about under the arms? Have you had any issues with that? My armpits are totally dry. I'm also gonna take a couple pictures. Well, we're here to help you. The whole point of having you come out here is to really try to find you some answers. Nancy and I had a moment and she turned to me. I'm embarrassed. <sighs> and I think that's the most heart-wrenching thing as a physician and really motivates me even more to try to help her. It will get better.